A week ago, Ukraine shot down a Russian plane that was supposedly carrying like 50 Rus Ukrainian prisoners that were supposed to be transferred to Ukraine from Russia. And they shot it down. And the question was, how did they shoot it down? And according to New York Times, American officials confirm a Patriot missile shot down the, I guess, 276 plane. I don't know how to pronounce that. So Ukraine used an American made missile to shoot down a Russian plane with Ukrainian prisoners of wars. So then people try to say, oh, look, it's Ukraine's war against Russia, our enemy, but we are not fighting it. So it's good. So we give Ukraine a bunch of money and then they fight our war for us. Sorry to say that that's not true. We are currently fighting a war using Ukrainian troops, but it is our war because our like really expensive, really fancy missiles are shooting down Russian planes. Presumably also they will start hitting Russian cities at some point. That is a war, right? That, that, that is a war between two countries when our missiles are raining down on Russian cities and shooting down Russian planes and killing Russian fighters and it's all our money and we're spending a hundred billion dollars and all of that is going towards at least the part that wasn't stolen right it's all going on russian troops russian cities russian civilians russian russian aircraft russian everything that's war now we're in this precarious situation we are but we're not actually fighting it okay so what does that mean for all of us well it means that if russia wants it can expand this war to bring in the United States troops. Russia can do that because it's realizing that it's not actually a war between Russia and Ukraine, right? Ukraine won the war when Ukraine still existed. Now it's Russia and the United States using the proxy. And if Russia is able to push Ukraine or get close maybe to Poland or other countries, US troops might be on the table now because it isn't a Ukraine-Russian war. It's an American-Russian war that we're fighting, so it's a kind of a kind of a big issue, you know. Just um, just saying, maybe it's just my opinion, but we should probably know that we're fighting a war with one of the world's superpowers, who is currently trying to become the world superpower, and we are the world superpower. And unless you want to go fight, you know, I personally want a draft, then we should all go to war forever because that would basically make all United States boys into men instead of a bunch of soy boys for life. And so that would be a good thing in my personal opinion. But uh, we should actually say, look, we are fighting Russia now. Okay, now let's take steps to actually win. Instead, we're just creating this hellscape that is called Ukraine. And we're using our missiles to fight this war. And how, how many times can I repeat this? We are at war with Russia because they are using, they're basically skeletons, right? right? The Ukraine army is just one big skeleton and the flesh is basically the United States. So if you want the war, we should go to war. If you don't want the war, we should stop the war. But it's remember, it's not a Ukrainian war and it was never about Ukraine. It's about the United States versus Russia. See you next video.